Chris Six weather forecast. <laughs> Never know what Paul is going to say in the morning, folks. <laughs> where where he gets this from? All right, live look at Snoopy's this morning as uh, we look over the JFK Causeway, and you can see a few cars that are out there. But overall, it's pretty quiet this morning, and temperatures are holding on to the 80s out near the coast with a light southwesterly wind at only five miles per hour. Still registering 68 over in Falfurias. That's pretty nice. 71 in Three Rivers, as well as over in Mathis, out near Lake Corpus Christi, out near the uh, Legardo area as well, and holding on to the uh, lower 80s from Rock Port Aransas Pass over towards uh, Port Aransas as well. Not much in the way of fog developing this morning. That's always fantastic news, but use caution on the early morning commute. So here's the hour by hour forecast as we help you plan your day on out. And uh, look at that already 88 degrees by 11 o'clock. We'll see a little bit more wind this afternoon, especially as we head towards the later afternoon hours. I think those will be going anywhere between 15 to 25 miles an hour as we top off once again into the uh, middle 90s. And again, there's a look at that wind gust forecast and right about 4 to about 8 p.m. That's when we could see that wind going anywhere between about 25, 27 miles an hour before that begins to come down once again. So that extra wind will make the base choppy. The seas two to five feet. Use caution boaters and mariners. Only saw a couple of high tides at an Oasis Bay 318 later on this afternoon and then later on this morning over at Packery Channel. Look at the triple digits once again. 104 for George West today, 103 in Freer and 101 from Orange Grove, Beeville, Alice and even Falfurias off into Heavenville and into the upper 80s to low 90s out near the coastline. The uh, Corpus Christi hook still over at Whataburger Field today. Today is a firework and uh, they'll have the fireworks site there. I should say at first pitch at 705 be pretty close to about 90 degrees and then by the drive home we'll be looking at the uh, lower 80s. So good luck to the hooks as we look at the satellite radar composite southeasterly winds or I should say over the southeast uh, we have that southeasterly flow because of that clockwise flow coming around that dome of high pressure and no matter where you go it's a little bit cooler up to the north but not by much they're still going to get pretty close to the 90s for today courtesy of that big dome of high pressure that's in place that's going to meander over the uh, region over the next couple of days and so it's going to be a blazing hot weekend but things start to change on Monday that high pressure dome moves off to the west of us will allow a very weak summer front to move into the northern parts of the state. It's going to stall and throw some scattered showers in our direction as we head into uh, the late Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. But by the time we head into Thursday and Friday, that opportunity for some rainfall will go away. But this is something that we certainly want to see here over the next five days over a good portion of Texas looking pretty good. Isolated on Monday, especially for the northern parts, and then becomes more scattered in nature as we head on into the Tuesday time frame. As far as the uh, rainfall amounts for us here, I think on average here in the coastal bin will be around a quarter of an inch, but some folks could see up to half an inch of rain, so it'll be a welcome sight. So 95 today, 73 and 96 on Saturday, pretty much a carbon copy on Sunday. Isolated showers Monday, scattered in nature Tuesday and Wednesday, and then when we